Hi everyone, in this video we're going to modify the radio controller of this great GPS quadcopter, the Hapsam 502E. Basically we're going to double its range from 250 feet so that it could cover greater FPV distance uh, with fly FPV with it. This is the Hapsam controller and for this project you're going to need the RPSMA female to IPEX, it's in here, as well as a 2 watts Wi-Fi amplifier which costs 26 USD. After removing the 3 screws at the back, you're going to need the plastic ruler to slowly pry open the case from the side because it's secured by very strong clips at the side. So take care while doing this in order not to break the clips. Once open, the inside looks like this. You'll see the green PCB. And we have this Wi-Fi booster which is powered by a 12 volts AC adapter. We're not going to use the AC adapter, we're going to use the battery from the controller to power it. But the batteries only supply 6 volts, so we need this LM2577 to step up the 6 volts from the 4AA batteries to 12 volts. And you can do so by simply turning up the voltage by turning the potentiometer. Now the next step is to take a look at how to replace the stock antenna with the SMA port. This is the stock antenna and it looks like it's connected over the other side, over here. Let's remove this and then put on our SMA port. Okay, this is the stock antenna removed and we have put on the SMA connector, the SMA port. It's pretty easy, no soldering required, just plug and play. And also you can see that we have melted a hole at the top for the SMA plug and a hole at the bottom and we have soldered a pair of wires to tap power from the battery. And this is how it looks like when assembled. Now the last step is to connect a pair of wires from the four AA batteries to the RM2577 to power it up and then have its output connected to the Wi-Fi booster. That's all and thank you for watching.